What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, before we get this video popped off, man, I want y'all to make sure y'all check out the dopest website around, blackishtea.com. Always hit me up with the first in celebrity news, gossip, and entertainment. Make sure y'all follow them on Twitter, Instagram, and sign up for the newsletter on the website. Now, man, this is the craziest information, man, to be hitting the internet right now. And also, television, man. So, man, it looks like R. Kelly is basically threatening to sue Lifetime, man. Threatening to pursue legal action against Lifetime, man, for bringing out this docuseries, man. It is a six-part docuseries, and it's basically... um interviewing like 50 women man claiming that they are victims of sexual physical and mental abuse done at the hands by r kelly now a lot of people saying it's hard to watch man it's hard to stomach a lot of these women are very extra emotional because they feel very terrible about the things that r kelly did man and a lot of them think they're the only ones they don't really think there's other people involved some of them are actually uh harboring this secret that you know what i'm saying they're basically trying to actually put out there on blast and on display to let people know exactly what they've been through now some of the more shocking things man is, is the actual celebrities that actually even came out to really speak about r kelly man which was very interesting to me uh one of the names that really stood out to me was john legend man now john legend actually um he appeared in a docuseries but he also wasn't really shy at all, man. He took right to Twitter. And he was basically saying, I believe these women and I don't give a fuck about protecting a serial child rapist. One of the first tweets he put out, man, he said, we should all thank my friend at Dream Hampton for her very necessary work to create surviving R. Kelly. These survivors deserve to be lifted up and heard. I hope it gets them closer to some kind of justice. He later on tweets to everyone telling me how courageous I am for appearing in the dock. It didn't feel risky at all. I believe these women again, and I don't give a fuck about protecting a serial child rapist. Easy decision. Everybody knows, man, John Legend is very strongly opinionated, man. He he's had a lot to say about a lot of things. He's, you know, mentioned Kanye in the past. I mean, he's very vocal. Um, he's got that beige rage is what I like to call it. And you know what I'm saying? I don't know if him and R. Kelly ever had any personal issues, but apparently whatever it is, he ain't feeling R. Kelly and he's definitely letting people know and he's all too he's all too excited, man, to throw R. Kelly under the bus. Now we got the girl uh Jamel Hill, I believe is how you say it. Um, she basically goes on to mention on Twitter, if you look back at the reporting during the R. Kelly Aaliyah marriage, it was a massive failure. Zero understanding of sexual abuse. Nobody treated this seriously. It was a collective shrug. And she also goes on to mention, um, true story. I interviewed Aaliyah in 1995 as an intern for the Detroit Free Press. I asked her if she was married to R. Kelly and she denied it. What I didn't ask her is if she had ever been married to him. Even when she answered, I didn't believe her. Now, another name that actually stood out to me, man, was Kerry Washington. Now, Kerry Washington, man, I mean, you know, the star of Scandal. I was actually surprised to see her speak out and mention some things. Now, she goes on record saying that surviving R. Kelly is the number one trending topic on Twitter. A man speaking truth to power. Now, a lot of people, man, are actually uh, coming out and exposing R. Kelly. I mean, this sounds kind of like the Me Too movement. I mean, you've got several people, several women um, indicating, uh, you know, he he's a serial rapist. You know, he's got a sex cult. He's got this going on. He's got that going on. And I want to know from you all, do you guys feel like this is a personal attack on R. Kelly? Or do y'all feel like there's any truth to it? Now, let's take out of our mind that, you know, he is a celebrity. Um, you know, we grew up on his music. You know, some of us love his music. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's been a staple in our lives. But beyond all of that, beyond all of the entertainment, do y'all really feel like um, R. Kelly is a sex predator? 
or do y'all feel like this is something more more along the lines of you know somebody just really trying to assassinate another black entertainer and kind of get them out of there like some of the other ones that have been put out there I know initially when the news broke about Bill Cosby that was really a hard pill to swallow for a lot of us because I mean a lot of us grew up on Bill Cosby man like they had the picture perfect life the Huxtables you know what I'm saying the Cosby show Fat Albert you know what I'm saying all of that stuff that we related to as kids man it was a really tough pill to swallow for so many people until you know the evidence got stronger and he eventually admitted to a lot of the wrongdoings and at that point I mean you just gotta accept it um, when somebody actually comes out and admits to it but I don't know if we'll ever get an admission from R. Kelly you know he's very private well he tries to be private about his life um, but uh, this 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 firestorm that's, that's coming against him man I don't really feel like it's gonna go away I mean even trying to sue them I mean it's too late it's already they pushing forward um lifetime like look we got way more money than you got so you threatening to sue us they ain't scared us a bit now R. Kelly man he did drop the song the I think it was like 11 minute song I admit and he told a lot of stuff in there personally if some of y'all haven't heard it man make sure y'all check that song out listen to it man i think it's a very honest uh song he doesn't really talk about the in-depth sexual allegations or anything like that he doesn't talk about things about Aaliyah. and some people were coming out man saying that Aaliyah was only like 12 years old man when r kelly linked up with her now i think when they got married man that was around well she was about 15 14 15 somewhere around there but yeah she was only 12 years old man and backstage singers was saying they caught him having sex with her all kind of stuff man like she was a baby now now y'all think about it man some of y'all got younger kids and and you know what i'm saying can you 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 know what i'm saying you would go crazy if a grown-ass man was sleeping with your very very underage daughter but it's, it looks like man the the power and the money that r kelly had he was able to you know get over in, in certain certain instances you know he paid people off and sometimes people are desperate man they don't really care and they're if they're in a bad situation they don't really care what the outcome is they don't care who it hurts who it affects all they see is dollar signs all they trying to do is get their bills paid and they don't really care who they hurt in the process but yeah it is definitely um interesting to see all these celebrities come out man and really speak against another celebrity oftentimes they they mainly get quiet they don't really say much um about their industry peers man but it looks like people are coming at them hardcore Here's a clip with Keisha Cole uh, talking about the allegations here. I did see, however, that some of the girls went on camera and said that they were not held against their will. You never, I mean, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. He's never tried anything crazy with me. But maybe he know I slapped the dog ass out of him. I don't know. You know, I, you know, people just, you know, I don't know. So it does appear, man, that R. Kelly kind of picks and chooses his victims according to who they are, man. He doesn't really want no smoke when anybody that's actually, you know, what I'm saying that's going to be aggressive with him. Somebody that's kind of got, you know, an alpha type of personality. And definitely he doesn't seem to really deal with any celebrities that's kind of got a name for themselves already. So it looks like he definitely skipped over Keisha Cole, man. He wasn't going to deal with her. And he saw she was probably a little bit more aggressive than what he was used to. Now, man, it is very, very interesting. All the things that the celebrities had to say about R. Kelly, man. And also so many things that's been hidden from us um, as fans um, about his life. I mean, we would have never known anything unless these women actually came out and told their truths. I mean, we can only hope that they are telling the truth. I mean, hopefully they're not really trying to throw R. Kelly under the bus and making up things, man, just to destroy the man's career. 
I mean, that's definitely not what's happening at all. So I'm definitely interested, man, in hearing y'all's opinions. I know y'all love giving y'all opinions on my channel, man. Definitely, man, shoot over some information, man. Let me know what y'all feel about this whole R. Kelly situation, man. Do y'all feel like he's innocent at all? Do y'all support the celebrities that are actually coming for R. Kelly, man? Do y'all support John Legend? Do y'all support Kerry Washington? Are y'all, you know what I'm saying? Are y'all down with the with the uh, new R. Kelly movement? Definitely want to know that, man. How many people are supporters of the new R. Kelly movement? I think the dude is de definitely talented, but you know what I'm saying? If there's any truth to any of this, man, that these women are saying, man, that's definitely wrong, man. I mean, he needs some type of help. Um, I don't think he should just be uh, thrown away at all, but I do feel like he needs some type of help, man, some type of intervention. He needs to be on uh, Yala Fix My Life or something, man, because um, that ain't happening, bro. That's not what's up, man. If you're out here raping folks man if you got a sex cult and all this weird stuff and you holding women against their will that is not what is up so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this man don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the video share the videos man ask your people there man what they feel about this right here y'all drop y'all comments on here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll peep y'all on the next one holla